Hi there again, this is Craig with the Aquaponics Haven. Coming at you again one more time. I'm fixing to show you a build um, for a swirl filter. It's going to be made out of a water jug that um, you can pick up at your local Walmart or your Winn-Dixie or Save-A-Lot. Different places like that. They got most of them. You're gonna find is the ones with the handle on it. Um, if you can't find one without the handle, buy the one with the handle. But if you can find a solid round one, is the best one to find. Now I've got this off YouTube. I can't remember who it was that um, put it on there, but I'll post it below who it was. And also, you're going to need a five gallon bucket with the bottom cut out of it. Completely cut out of it, all the way around it. So, what this will do is this will sit on here, just like that. So, it, it fits perfect. Now, whether or not your pipe, which is going to be coming in, from the um, whatever way you're going to have the water running. Mine is a um, drain. It, uh, my tank stays at a certain level. Once it gets to that level, it drains out. It will drain out into this. And I'm using an inch and five eighths pipe. I mean, inch and a half inch pipe. So, you know, really, if you have anything smaller than an inch and a half pipe, Drain it into your beds and into your filters. You're probably going to have a lot of problems with it stopping up. I know I did. I wouldn't listen myself at the beginning of it. Thought I knew it all three quarters would be fine. But I tell you what, it ain't enough of flow, and plus it's not enough of water going through it. So, but I'm using a Unisil to fit into the into the sides of it. Um, it took a two and a half inch um, hole saw bit to drill the hole there for the inch and a half. So they will go in the sides, which both sides, once you get where your water level is going to be and how it's going to drain. Um, so there you go. Um, what you're going to need is an inch and a half rubber. I guess coupling, what you would call it. I don't know the technical term for it is, um, but it inch and a half fits tight. You have to work it on there, but it will go. There we go. All right, just tighten that up. Get it on there evenly. Then this is a, you see, it is a inch and a half to three quarter reducer. So that inch and a half will slip in there, and then the three quarter will slip in there. Now this pipe is approximately two inches long. It's three quarter. It slips in there, and it goes with an elbow. And there's that part of it. Okay. Um, the bucket. I know I've got several holes in it already. Three holes in it. This hole doesn't matter. This hole. This was my first. If you've seen any of my early videos. This was my biofilter. On my first video. But um, now it, it was junk. And I saw a chance to use something that was left over. So I used this. So if you'll measure down 10 and a quarter and drill you a hole these measurements for your pipes will fit for it now I've got a piece of pipe here another piece of three quarter inch which is six and a quarter inch long and what that will do you drill your hole the, the perfect size for that to slip in there and see this will go will sit right down in there then 
want when you connect it. Now, I'll tell you something, when you go to put this on, you don't want to get it on too far because it, your pipe won't be long enough and that's just what I did. There's a little lip that's in there that dips down and you want to crank this down on that lip. So that's where it needs to be right there for that lip. So this goes back in here. Voila. And there you go. Straighten up my towel. And then this fits on there like that. Now mine's going to be sitting on another five gallon bucket, which I'll put this lid right here on the bottom of this, screw it to the top bottom of the other bucket. The other bucket's going to be turned upside down like this one the lid on it and so I'll just set it on it's just high enough for it to be at the height where I want it on my tank so there you go and then when you insert so I'm going to take this pipe back off so I can work with this thing here okay the water level coming in too. Now one thing you need to do before you go try to put your pipes, if you haven't ever worked with a uniseal, the deal is you need to bevel the end of your pipe. Take a piece of sandpaper, sandpaper and bevel it so that it will slip in, slip in there real nice. And if you'll wet it, well, Wet it real good. Wet it real good. It'll slip in in a hole a little easier. You just want to push it in there just far enough so that this is is the end is where the water coming in. And so Water comes in and it swirls in here and all the way settles down at the bottom. So when you can open up the valve and it drains the water. The deal is is that I live in a city and I use a lot of water, not as much as I normally would, but I use about the way I have my filter now, when I have to clean it, it takes about 18 gallons of water to clean that thing so I'm trying to you'll be able to minimize this thing down to probably about a half a bucket of water probably two or three gallons when you go to clean this if maybe a little less and if you if you strain the water when it when it when you filter it I've got a um a um bio diesel five gallon bucket strainer that I bought that I set inside of a five gallon bucket. You strain it and um, you can pour the water back in it. So anyway, I took this, this was a a 45 degree um, coupling. And what I did was, which it, it would be in an angle like this, what I did, I cut it off even because I would have more space right there than what a 90 degree was. Um, so this is my, when the water comes in here and it circulates and the waves falls down at the bottom, this is where the water is going to drain into my other biofilter that I'm building. So um, this would go here, right dead in the center, and um, right dead in the center of this and you would basically it will form help form a, vor, vor, a vert, vortex spin this water the deal is is the slower you can have this water to to turn 
the faster it's going to stir the waste up. But the slower you get it to turn, the better off you're going to be. So every which way you, what you have to do to cause the water to, to maybe flow slower or whatever you've got to do, that is the best way that you're going to be able to filter the waste down at the bottom of this. So if it's spinning too much, it stirs it up and it's not going to settle. So the slower you can get it, the better off you will be. But anyway, I've seen these filters used several times and, and you know, they just told you what they did. But this, I wanted to show a video how I built it, how it's coming about. So um, maybe you give you an idea what you can use. So um, I'll have this thing in my garden for too long on the next day or so. And I'll have a video to show you how it's working. All right, this is Craig with Aquaponics Haven. Um, this is April the 2nd. And um, I hope I found you having a, a good Easter. I know I have a great one. So um, until next time that I see you, you have a good day and God bless you.